Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I don't know. Thank you for saying that I inspire many. Um, I think I'm inspired by primarily by my parents. Um, everybody knows my dad, who is you know the chief. He's been committed as a public servant and leader, but my mom as well. She has sacrificed so much for her family um, and for country. I mean, she has really served as a nurse, uh, as a teacher, um, and being the backbone of a lot for, for us as children. So parents, um, as well as my friends, I'm, I surround myself with friends who motivate and encourage me. Um, and inspire me with their own achievements um, and the level of genuine support that they give. And of course, not, not to leave out my son who you're hearing right now. <laughs> He's a brilliant inspiration. Every day is different, but um, generally I try to, to reserve the mornings for my kids. So it's an opportunity, they're getting ready, um, you know, whether it is to, to help them getting ready or to eat with them or um, to chat about what's going to happen in school, whether to pray with them, whatever it is, generally reserve the mornings for family. Um, the calls start coming in very early from persons, particularly with WhatsApp now. So we try to take a few calls, um, organize for the day and then head out. If, you know, if it's the ministry, then you head to the ministry or head to cabinet or head to the scheduled meetings. Um, and then set out to try to achieve the list. Every day is a new list, a different list. So we tick off and, and, and get things done, execute as best as possible. Um, so the days are really spent between office and a lot of my days are out on the road now. Um, on the road, getting work done, particularly in the, mini, in the, in the constituency now. Um, having just recently um, been elected as the Member of Parliament for South East Clarendon. A lot of my days, in the la all of my days in the last three weeks have been in South East Clarendon, getting to know the people, um, getting to engage the workers um, and setting up the constituency plan. So we're executing that now. Um, God, family and then work. I try to, um, I, I think that I need to do much more, um, but I, I try to do as much football as possible with my son and used to play a lot of ball on, on weekends, not as much as, as I would like considering the hectic schedule, uh, but between football and just general cardio. I did the 90 day challenge a couple of times. Um, I've done a few 5Ks, but there's much, much more, you know, consistent routine that is needed for me to say that I'm exercising the way I want to. Um, also, in the last two to three weeks, lost 10 pounds, as you can see, because of the consistent walking, 10 hour walking during the campaign. So that shows that the cardio is very important and for us men all we like to do is just the weights so uh, we have to really compel ourselves to mix the weights with the cardio but the cardio is critical problem is you know sometimes it does not fit into the schedule so i end up working out either very very late or very very early um, but you just have to you just have to make it a priority um, though I'm not always successful in it, but you know, at least going forward, I try to. My father, he is the role model when it comes on to exercise. That man has played tennis every morning consistently for the last 34, 35 years. And that's why he's now 84 this year and can still you know, make you run around the tennis court like you're a boy. So that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I do not get a lot of sleep, um, but I've never gotten a lot of sleep. You know, I know that sleep is important, so to everybody watching, sleep is critical. Don't be like me, it comes down to sleep. 
Um, I wake up very early because of the kids. Um, but that sleep is something that I need to work on. The nutrition is not bad. I, I don't think I eat too badly. I, I can, I'm the kind of person who will set uh, a plan for myself weekly or bi-weekly. So I'll say to myself, I'm going to cut down on meat for this week, and I actually do. Um, I have to cut down on dairy sometimes because of sinusitis issues, but besides that, I try to, I try to, to have a balanced diet. My, my greatest problem with eating is eating on time. So because of the hectic schedules, you find yourself sometimes not able to eat in those intervals um, as consistently as you should. So that's where I need to perhaps work on. Favorite meal? Uh, I'm a food eater, so it could boil between, I love Italian, I love Indian, um, clearly Jamaican, um, Chinese. Favorite meal? Pan food. Pan food? <laughs> no, my son likes pan food. Um, Maybe, maybe a mixture. If, if I had to choose, for me, perfect dinner would have a mixture of different types of food. So definitely some planting has to be in it, whatever the food is. Um, then you might have some, perhaps a chicken alfredo fettuccine and some Indian dishes and some Chinese dishes. And good to go. My fridge is filled with food for the kids. It's completely filled with food for the children, yeah. There's literally no space for anything else, so I might have to buy another fridge. Mental health um, is critical, of course. Um, physical, mental, spiritual. It's the, the whole alignment of who you are and what your spirit is giving off and what you're allowing yourself to consume. Um, and I think mental health is also critical in my role as a leader. Um, if you don't take the time to breathe and to ventilate, um, your reaction to persons will exhibit itself as, as erratic. You know, and you might be a little bit more, you could be more um, calm and, and measured if you take the time to, to, to really consider your mental health. So it's, it's essential, particularly in Jamaica, because you know that a lot of our crime and violence is arising from the struggle that people have with mental health. Family support is critical. Um, the family, and the fa when I say family, it's not just your immediate nucleus either. The family includes your friends. Um, and that support is essential, particularly as a public servant because you are faced with so much ridicule and you're consistently under the microscope. So it's always important to have persons who are going to tell you as it is, who you don't have to question the authenticity of their own evaluation of what you're doing or what you have done, um, and who will encourage you in times when things are chaotic or, or difficult or challenging. So family support is essential, essential for your mental health, your, your spiritual health, your physical health, um, and essential for you to be able to really carry your role effectively. Um, I'd say where you are today does not have to be where you are going to be tomorrow. Um, you, you are valuable and much stronger and resilient than you think you are right now. You know, and all of us, all of us have gone through some point in time. We may not say it, we may not openly expose it, but everyone has challenging times uh, when they feel depressed um, uh, and are confronted with situations that are unfavorable. Uh, you're not alone, you're not alone. You know, you have avenues and persons who understand and who you can reach out to. So don't feel scared, don't feel uncomfortable, don't feel like you're lesser than. 
Um, and for those who are ignorant and don't understand, you know, just look the other way. Uh, ignore those people and go and seek the, the assistance and help that you need. And don't ever, ever, ever feel like you can't seek it because you're embarrassed. You know, this, this country needs to really raise our understanding and awareness of these issues because if we do, not only will we be able to avoid a lot of confrontation and a lot of the negative end results, but the kind of productivity that can come from persons who are now suffering and struggling just because they're embarrassed to, to go and seek help, um, we'll see an improvement across the board in Jamaica, productivity and otherwise.